Hey there, my Leos. This is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sean, and I am here with your weekly reading. Please remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone, unfortunately. So take what does and what doesn't. Just throw it out. And let's get into this reading. Let me take a little sip of tea because I've been talking a lot all day and it's constantly running my mouth. <laughs> okay, Leo. So, already put down your cards, spread them. I like to pre shuffle and lay your cards out beforehand and not really do it on camera because I have a lot of cards that I use. So, and it would take this reading would be. Is this something on my forehead? If there is, I'm sorry about that. It might be some makeup. Sorry. If I did shuffle on camera, it would take forever and nobody wants to see that. So, all right. So, Leo, this week, Spirit is asking you to honor yourself, okay? We have Orina. I hope this is, I hope I'm saying that right. I love these cards, but I, some of them, I'm just like, I have no idea how to say it. Orina, okay? It's talking about honor your mystical creative force. So you really need to honor yourself here when it comes to your creation that you're trying to create. Make sure this week that you're eating a lot of nutritious foods, that you're putting only good high, high vibrational stuff in your body. It's time for you to really honor yourself this week, okay? Um, I really feel that this week some of you are kind of um, kind of torn between what you really want to do and what society says you have to do. And spirit is saying you need to do what you want to do. What is life without ever taking a risk when it comes to something you love and what you want to do? That's what we're here for. We're not here for just paying bills and then losing weight and then dying. It's, there's more to life than that. So if you have something that you really want to do, spirit has your back. And it says to do it, okay? Don't let anybody else tell you anything different. That's what I'm getting for you this week. Um, we have mother right here. The actions you're playing this week, week is mother. So some of you actually this week will be giving birth. So congratulations, okay? Congratulations, your baby's coming this week. And then some of you are basically really taking care of this creative thing that you're trying to do, okay? And some of you are really... Um, really getting into your your motherly side you know really taking care of your kids being very loving this week you have that mother vibe i love this card this week i also okay also i said i also also this week you guys are feeling very encouraged about something because with your feelings you have encouraged we also have hopeful so you're encouraged and you're hopeful about something so that's really good and I feel like this is your creation, what you're trying to manifest here. But also, Leo, is you're feeling guilty about something, okay? You're feeling really guilty about something. And I really feel like this guilt has to do with you putting yourself first. Because your song for the week was Jahim's Put That Woman First right here. So, I feel like this week you're really trying to put your needs first, okay? And that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. That's what you need to do. But you might have some naysayers and you need to ignore that. So I feel like you're feeling uh, very guilty about that, okay? Now, I also did some clarifications on what you're feeling guilty about. Because I wanted to know, what is Leo feeling so down and guilty about? And I have a couple of situations here. Now, some of you are feel, feeling very guilty about your occupation, you doing something that you really love, like really focusing on your occupation here. This is work that you love, okay? And then some of you are actually, it's really interesting. You're feeling guilty because you're in a better financial position than someone else. And you're feeling a bit guilty right here. Someone's in poverty and you're feeling a bit, a bit guilty. And then another group of you are feeling really guilty because someone's in bad health, okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting different energies here. Now, I pulled an angel card, an angel message for you, some advice for the situation. I'm going to read it to you, okay? It says, innocence. It says, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. God gives, I mean, God, <laughs> give us, I say God gives, I'm sorry. Give us your feelings of heaviness so 
you can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroom your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more, okay? So your guides, your spirit guides, God is saying, give it to him. Give it, give it to God. Give it to whatever you believe in the highest power, okay? You don't need to carry that. That's not on you. You don't need to be feeling guilty. Keep moving, all right? Also, your tarot cards for the week. If I can pick them up because I never can. Okay. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. And you have the Page of Wands. So you're basically really in the zone, putting in work. And this has something to do with a talent, something you can do. It's still um, in the development phase, but you're really focusing on that. That thing that you can do, which is awesome, okay? What is this right here? Okay, hold on just a second. Oh! I got some of my cards kind of everywhere. All right, so changes this week, Leo. Changes. We all like changes. I do. Well, good changes. <laughs> okay, it says get some rest. You know, you may be feeling kind of exhausted, overwhelmed. Spirit is saying get, get some rest. And this makes so much sense because you also got another song for the week, Lloyd's Slow Wine Bass Line. I like that song. <laughs> um, but you got that song because it's time for you to take it slow, okay? Lloyd's Slow, slow Wine Bass Line. I like that song. You can look it up on YouTube. Um, it's an, I like it, okay? It's an R&B love song. But get your rest this week. Also moving, you know, um, some of you are actually relocating and moving this week, I'm seeing. Um, and that's also preparing to move, preparing for a move I'm getting for some of you. Also, Spirit wants you to know when it comes to your love life, okay, for your love reading. We have trust your intuition right here. We got release attachments and reconciliation. So some of you, ooh, if you can see that, okay. Some of you are actually going to be reuniting with someone this morning, hearing someone this morning. Some of you are going to be hearing from somebody in a morning, okay, in a morning time. Um, that distracted me. Okay, some of you are going to be hearing from somebody uh, that you haven't heard from in a while. Um, and some of you are actually going to be reconnect reconnecting with someone that's your true love, okay? Um, someone that is your true love is coming in right here. And some of you are actually um, in a relationship with your true love, but having a little bit of some issues. And Spirit is saying, release the attachments, what you think the outcome's going to be with this, okay? You need to kind of let that go, let go of expectations, okay, and un unhealthy attachments. I'm going to go ahead and read the attachment thing. Some Spirit is telling me to read this for you. It says, let go of let go of unhealthy attachments and connections that no longer serve you. Release the past. Release the past. New doors can open. This is a period to get in touch with your inner strength and reclaim your personal power. Move forward to be free. Endings always bring new beginnings. So yeah, definitely. Some of you, that makes some sense. Some of you are in a connection that you, your intuition is telling you that it's not right for you. And spirit is telling you to release that person, okay? You need to release that person so better can come into you. Come, come into you. <laughs> come in for you unless you want something to come into you. No, I don't judge. <laughs> but anyway, let me pull some of your tea leaf oracles. I'm kind of being guided to switch this like this, okay? February. We have February here. Significant. February can be significant, or this is someone's birthday, February this week. We have someone be, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So you're gonna be dealing with a stubborn person. It is so funny, when I get this card, typically that stubborn person is my three-year-old toddler. <laughs> it's funny, so this could mean anything, I'm telling you, this could mean anything. It could mean like your toddler does not wanna sit on the potty. I'm sorry, I'm a mommy, and that's what I deal with sometimes. He will not sit on the freaking potty. He's unwilling to change right now. So it can be a situation like that, okay? And then we have June. This can also be somebody's birthday or something, but June is significant too this week. All right, some of you have dealings with a father, and that's so crazy because that's showing up in a lot of my readings. What is going on with the fathers, okay? 
It's like the feminine energy. We're going in on the fathers. We are not letting them get away with not a damn thing, okay? So you may be dealing with your father or or your baby's father or something, but we are women are coming out and we're like, oh, hell no. Nah. So something's coming up, an issue is coming up with a father, okay? Now, or you can be a father. It can be you, you know? You can be a father and some issues are coming up. I don't know. It's something with the fathers. I'm telling you the energy. Okay, also, I don't really show these on camera, but this is another divination that I like to use. Um, I look at, if you would like me to show them on camera, I could, but I'm not really going to show them. Um, I take them as a whole, okay? Spirit is telling you that it's time for you to chill out with this bottle cap that I'm seeing. Um, you're also being guided. You have the lighthouse. Something's trying to um, get your attention this week. Spirit is also asking you to um, be fearless. Spirit is asking you to be fearless. Also, I'm sorry, sometimes a lot of messages come in at the same time and it distracts me. Spirit is also asking you to listen to your heart, okay? You need to really listen to your heart when it comes to a situation. Also, you're, you're still at the point where you're trying to find the right shoe and you're going to. You're going to find the right fit, Spirit is saying. Also, watch your words. So there might be a heated discussion this week. Watch your words. You know, really be conscious of what you say. Also, there is a snake in the camp, okay? Um, I don't really show my charms, but there's a little snake. There is a snake in the camp. So be, um, be aware of that. That might come out and it's going to cause a lot of anger. So you're going to have to cool out. I think that's why you're going to have to cool off this week. Also, Spirit wants to know that you're very protected. Um, you're very protected and that someone is probably watching you. Maybe you're watching someone else. It can go either way, but someone's watching you. Someone has your eye, their eye on you. Also this week, you might feel like you need to defend yourself. There's like a, div a dividing, um, a split I'm getting. There might be a divide with family or something there. Something's being split in half um, with the saw right here. I also see a moving truck again. So some of you are definitely moving. There's going to be an opportunity to move. Um, and also some of you may be deciding to go with long hair or something or getting um, some extensions for long hair. Something about long hair being... Just something with long hair. Maybe you're getting long dreads, something to do with long, long, long hair I'm getting, okay? And also, there is an important phone call that will be happening um, this week. You're going to be getting a message of some, some kind this week, okay? So pay attention to that. And there's definitely some type of ending. Um, there's definitely some type of ending, okay, this week. And that's all I have for you, okay? Oh, oh, one more thing. It just caught my eye as I looked at the camera. Something that you lost, that you lost, is coming back. Um, something that you thought you lost, um, you're going to find it again, if this makes any sense. You're going to find it again. It could be anything. It could be like a button or something. or um, It's just something that you lost. You're going to be finding it again, okay, this week? All right, Leo, I hope you liked this message. If you did, hit subscribe, hit like, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.